so much. 42. Thank you. surgical sponges, turn off the shower, lather it up from your neck to your toes, well I would do it just from your neck to your belly button area, um, work it from the top to bottom clean to dirty, allow the pre-surgical soap to sit on your skin for several minutes then rinse off, don't apply any body care products, no lotions, creams, powders, deodorants after you shower. Um, how are you feeling? I'm still sleepy. This hasn't sunk in yet. No. Well, hopefully it's good. Just... isn't through the roof yet, so that's good. Good. No, that's awesome. Yep. I just want a coffee. I knew you were going to say that. Can you but... have water? 
That's really. Yeah. Sure. You can pee through the surgery. <laughs> so. Yeah, excuse me. Wait, wait, I gotta Hold wake on. up. I, I gotta go pee. Ladder. Hold on. <laughs> I'm currently in a hotel in Victoria on Vancouver Island and uh, I'm going to be having surgery with uh, Dr. Chris Taylor. Are you excited? Very excited, but also very nervous, but mostly excited, but like also nervous. My mom is here for support as always. She's always the big rock in my life. Um, my best friend Danny's here too. He's holding the camera right now. I'm nervous because in a few hours I'll be getting top surgery. And uh been waiting for probably like three or four years to actually get it done. And yeah, it feels surreal, honestly. Still. How do you feel about being late already? <laughs> Fashionably late, I guess. Trying to take a selfie with the nerds. Yeah, that's what we did. Yeah, so who knows what today's gonna hold. It'll be even more interesting. I don't even know how long the surgery is. Do you remember? Two or three hours. Yeah, I kind of thought three. Yeah. Can you do some paperwork for me, please, before we start? Sorry, we're a little late. That's okay. The um, top is for MSP to pay for your surgery. The bottom is an update of your personal information for the health authority. Your provincial health number is listed here. You need that for page two. Um, and then, like, accident details, you just put on the Roughly two hours. Yeah, and then the recovery first. Um, where are you guys staying tonight? We're staying at the Harbor City Center. How long have you lived at this address? <laughs> two days. Well, Saturday, right? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, three days. Three days. So, this is the... I grew half. Yeah, so if you have your things, we'll head back to the admit room. Oh, that collar just looks stunning on you now. Where's it? Hello. Hi. How are you? I believe I have a documentary oh, film on them, so, um, yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So if you put this on, it's actually, it's important to go in and out of the water warm. Yeah. Because um, you actually have a higher infection rate if you're cool. Really? And it's 
especially when you're slim, you tend to shake heat pretty quickly because you know what that crap has got alcohol in it. So right. Okay, so I'm going to get to the sand in front of me for a drink. Um, Procedure your house of to just do some things right here. Hi, you Hello. Hello. Hey, Hello, this is Dr. Shannon from Mass. Dr. Yes. Shannon, the anesthesiologist. Yeah, I get to give you the best sleep. Oh, Dr. Yes, Taylor so works the magic. I'll keep marking And I am going to uh, say hi to the to the support hi. team. <laughs> Levi, if you can just, uh, while Dr. Taylor's carrying on marking, yes. tell me a couple of things. Now, you're allergic to moxicillin, so yes. um, what kind of um, reaction do you get with that? Like rashy. What? Uh, when was that? How long ago was, was a kid. it? When you were a kid. Yeah. Okay. Um, when you wake up, when you wake up, I give you what I call my space cadet medicine. When you wake up, you're going to feel a bit like a space cadet. I say also this is a very bad thing to say. For once, it's legal, so you know, enjoy. For the short time, you are totally safe while you're in recovery room, and the aim is that you wake up without being too uncomfortable, that you feel much more relaxed, and you don't have that panicky feeling. Sure. So it's the antidote to panic. It's called my don't give a damn medicine or happy juice. All right. So I'm making. Am I selling it well enough? Yeah. Yet? I mean, I'm selling. <laughs> So, I mean, no, seriously, um, you're as safe as safe can be. You're going to be watching you like a walk throughout the procedure. And Dr. Excellent. Taylor is, uh, he's done this before. So, and I always tell people, like, you know, there's no sense in, you know, you're sitting there at 11 o'clock at night and you're worried about something. Call. So, okay. See you in a bit. Thank you. Thank you. I totally chewed all of those pills. There was like four of them. And I had this much water, and I like you have to swallow them. I was like, oh, so no. I chewed them all. And now my mouth is so bitter. Oh no! And I was like, <laughs> your fear of. Oh yeah, I can do it. Beep. I am ready. Okay, this is wonderful. Oh yeah, you gotta have a photograph oh, yeah. of the blue hat club. That's right. Um, there we go. Oh, you look so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> it looks hey. just like us. There we go. <laughs> One last pick. Oh, you. good luck and everything. Wonderful. Oh, I know it will. Thank you. And we'll be here okay. when you wake up. Bye, Dave. Have you just been to the hairdressers this morning? He's, you guys, he's, he's, he's going to have the best sleep ever. Knock him dead and <laughs> have a good sleep. And I won't even be there to snore. Yeah. <laughs> you won't hear me. Bye, Levi. Love you, Levi. Good luck. Sorry. He'll be okay. What's that? He'll be okay. I know. This is my baby. Oh, that's why they put these in here. <laughs> restaurants in there, there's some coffee shops.
have to do Advil, Tylenol, and then the prescription. And I know Levi would prefer if I got him the chewable ones. For Levi. Um, so this is for pain. Okay. It has um, Tylenol as well as Tramadol. Okay. okay. So two ingredients. The, the Tramadol is what is sort of a cousin to Cody. Yeah. Um, you're only allowed 4,000 milligrams a day, but if you take more than this at a time or more than this at a day, then okay. you're going to damage your liver. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank Any you. questions? But this one can cause drowsiness and constipation. So, okay. whereas the regular Tylenol shouldn't. Okay. So okay. maybe. So sleep see how it goes. And yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Lots we'll of water. <laughs> All righty. Great. There we go. Thank you so okay. much. Okay. Thank you. you too. So maybe grab some water too other parents is if if you can be there right from the beginning with your child it's going to be the most beneficial to them and to you because you also transition as they're transitioning through the different steps um, I'm going to go which way Shoot. Straight. Am I? Go through the steps, baby steps, with them, rather than all of a sudden, boom, you've got this child of yours that is totally changed, and you weren't part of the process. So that's what I found very helpful is just working through it with with him along the way. Um, I'm in the office till 3 p.m. today, 6 to 2. Yeah, half are friends. That's what you were talking about before you came here. I know, I hate this. Oh, come on, it's Ash Browns. I'm in contact with you. Okay. Do you know if they're putting out less than 30 cc? So sometimes that's a few days. Sometimes it can be as long as seven or less than 25. Uh, it's just I noticed it because I was looking for asymmetry to make sure there was no hematoma. Any kind of suspicion of that. Okay. Yeah, make sure we call Dr. Taylor and find him. Okay. <laughs> He's got a phobia of uh, swallowing. Oh, yeah. And you know what? Well, I give him all the time, and I don't really swallow pills very well. His dad anyway, doesn't I can do it with my coffee. Oh, really? Yeah. I can side effects and stuff, but his one side of his face seems a little blotchy. Is that normal? Uh, I did. I noticed he was pasty yeah. when I walked in. We're going to be fussing over you. And before you um, start to empty them, I always encourage you kind of hold here, like counter hold, and you melt or yeah. strip the tubing. Just to encourage any clots that might form to move along do, 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 to the edge of the bulb. You open up the little tab here, and then it'll lose its suction. Watch your eyes. Oh. Um, you can use these, but I prefer this little uh, measuring cup because the um, okay. measurements are a little bit more accurate. How many times during the day should I be, or should we be emptying it, or does that? Yeah, just like twice a day, just twice. like in the morning okay. and at night. So that it's supposed to happen like later on. It like could be closed. Bad. You gotta use your abs. Yep. Yeah. 
Just and you get to bum walk, right? Don't uh, just gotta walk with your cheeks and don't push your Checks from your dad. It says keep me posted as to how the guys do. Okay, this is as long as the bed goes. Okay. I apologize. That's not what is it? Let's put my shoe on. Yeah. Actually, oh. you probably should walk. Your circulation going a bit. Wow, I feel so useless. I can't uh, even put on a sweater. No, I didn't really give it to you. First time. So you hold on to me. Off to the right. Thank you. Like, do you notice this just mellows you right out? Yeah. All right, step into my office. It's been a while, welcome back. Thank you. How do you feel? Great. <laughs> it has been a while since we've done like a... It's been a long time. It's been a year. Tell me what the last one been your... Other than like sitting on your bed? In the hotel at the top surgery? Yep. Yeah. That's pretty wild, eh? It's just so cute how far. Like, cute little you. Shit, I looked at the camera. <laughs> I know. Here, what's my name? <laughs> <laughs> okay. My name is Levi. I am 19 years old, and today's date is August 28th. 2014. And then now it's big you, you know? I just, like, I'm, it's the same setup. That's what yeah. I'm laughing at. I'm like, oh, weird, you're on the same side. <laughs> you had an apartment somewhere. Doing this interview. Too bad we couldn't go back to that red wall. I know, right? Way darling? back when. But things change. Then I painted myself. You changed. Ooh. <laughs> hey. Hey. Take one. Take 100 and like. Okay. <clears throat> oh, I didn't have you watch the ending. Oh. Do you want to do that still? Want to come back to that? Take two? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's Cut! <laughs> Made me a little anxious watching that, actually. Why? It was a crazy time. Because of the complications, or, or just everything? Just the whole thing. So what you just watched is um, my journey through top surgery and overall my experience with the surgery was you know pretty good. I had uh, a great support system, um, the surgeon I felt comfortable and you know enough with my life literally in his hands but unfortunately two weeks post-op I experienced some complications and that took a big toll emotionally and physically um, on me. I was out for coffee with some friends and I sneezed into my arm and one thing they mention uh, when you first get out of the recovery room is if you have to sneeze, put a pillow or something to create compression on your chest. So you know, nothing ruptures. I was pretty high when they mentioned that, I think, and I just wasn't thinking clearly. And I sneezed and I popped a blood vessel in my right side. And immediately within maybe five minutes, my entire right side was full of blood, roughly 300 cc's. Um, it's the most intense pain I think I've ever felt in my life and I had to rush to the ER, um, get a second surgery. I experienced some post-op depression because of it. Um, it prolonged the whole healing process and I was just very impatient with myself. I wasn't, you know, taking care of myself emotionally for a lot of it. And I feel like not a lot of people really speak of it. A lot of people speak of only the good and I think it's important for me to speak 
you know, of the hard times and, and the challenges that I went through through top surgery. After the second surgery, I had a hard time falling in love with my chest and how it was reacting to such intense surgeries within two weeks. Um, there was a lot of bruising, um, a lot of stretching. I had drains in again. It was just very hard to look at my chest and be like, this is what I pictured, because it absolutely was not. And I had a difficult time wrapping my mind around the fact that this is going to be my chest forever. Just now, I am starting to, you know, fall in love with it and working with it. I'm, I'm able to go back to the gym now and focus on building my muscle back up. And, and if I had any advice for other folks who are going to have top surgery or, you know, may experience complications, honestly, reach out for support and be patient with yourself. I found writing helped a lot for me. And you know, when you're a year post-op, two years post-op, you can look back at the writing that you have and be like, holy shit, I made it. And I love myself and I'm so happy that, that I'm here. But yeah, one day at a time, I guess. <laughs> boom, boom, done. Don't plug your nose. <laughs> I guess we learned from that, eh? Hey? Sneezing. That's like really why? It's really funny that I had to sneeze during this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Get a funny. pillow.